More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Look at all this weird shit. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, that son of a bitch. Talk about tortured. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Ugh. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god, Rachel, Kate, all these files. This place actually feels evil. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. The Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. 
So who's using this fancy tripod? Somebody likes their whiskey. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Right. Look at the outline. 
I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Hello, 
Holbrook. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brock, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brock. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise, and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. With great power comes great bullshit. I don't know. It would be pretty kick-ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. So are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Energy drinks. So are the energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. School days. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not gonna do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh wait, I did see Nathan today, nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beat. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. 
you kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't frick. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Matt. Huh? the wit of the Vortex Club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only, okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me, so please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Yes, you do suck. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section.
Ethan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the roof. I feel selfish going to a party. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge on her or something. You dance worse than my dad. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Okay, now that's hot. Bust the move. Trevor I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich and a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? But we'll see. No, Logan, you are not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Uh, did you hear something? I'm Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see you, Max? You're so cute. We never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan. Don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. I'm trying not to. Oh, uh, here's the clean game. Real fucking nice. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's 
art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people I've locked up. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from me. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Representing on my two feet, I stand on hell bent. Thought to never lose, but the plan's wrong. You win the paper, pausing on the front page. The bottom state died 17 years of age. Another kid killed you, obituary filled you. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. Max, look at you go, girl! Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scared. Victoria might know. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in a Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan, so you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when he gets around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Give me a break. What's up, Hayden? Uh, up in the sky. It's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some 
stank, OG butts. So oh, I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want the No thanks. Come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Nothing. So, has anybody here seen anything? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you can sit down and make a quick death. Hayden. Does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club party? What doesn't he pay for? Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. That oxygen kit might come in handy if so. that son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. Oh good, Chloe's here. Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Mr. Jefferson, you're sexy. You are so hot. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. 
We have to go to the junkyard right now. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. yelling. Please. Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Max, oh, please hurry! God! Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. 